Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Salam Academy Alumni Leadership Club interview series, I Am Possible. Here is our guest, Sarah Hassan, and our host, Fatima Manasara. Assalamu alaikum, Sara. Jazakallah khair for accepting our invite. We are honored to meet you and learn about your success story. To start us off, please tell us a little about yourself, about your education, career, job, and successes. Alaikum assalam, Fatima. Thank you for having me. Um, well, as you said, my name is Sara Hassan, um, and I attended Salem Academy from pre-K through eighth grade. Then I went to a small charter school called Ames, where um, I worked as a math tutor my senior year of high school. I was also in the chess club, where um, I'd volunteer at various events um, to the point where uh, elementary school competitions even. I was an assistant tournament director, which uh, seems kind of nerdy, but it was, it was pretty cool. Um, I also had an internship at Explora, where my team and I created an exhibit to show the detrimental effects of uranium on uh, the environment and uh, animals, people, and things. Then I went to UNM, where I studied to be a chemical engineer with a chemistry minor and honors designation. And during my time at UNM, I also I worked at the university library for a year and then later had an internship at Sandia National Labs. And now, alhamdulillah, after graduating, I was accepted into the biomedical engineering master's program here at UNM. Masha'Allah, congratulations. So you're a chemical engineer. Tell us about what one needs to know about this profession. Well, um, first of all, like most engineering majors and careers, there's uh, many different areas of concentrations and applications for it. Um, so some of the different fields, for example, for chemical engineering are bioengineering, material science, environmental remediation, and uh, things to do with energy and technology. I myself uh, concentrated in bioengineering and still did work in other fields, which is also another point. Uh, majoring in engineering, you're not necessarily bound by your concentration. Engineering is pretty flexible and you can work in various positions and professions because of it as well. Wow. <laughs> you graduated with an honor designation from UNM. Please tell us about what, uh, how we can earn that honor. Um, so the Honors College in UNM is where you take extra classes that are meant to, to challenge you. And um, the classes are smaller and more engaging than other typical classes at UNM. Um, there's like more discussion, active participation um, and such. And uh, the Honors designation itself is taking five classes in the Honors program at different levels. So, you know, starting from level 100 then progressively increasing 200, 300, 400, um, and 400 is the max. And there's uh, different types, uh, of course, of courses you can take like math, physics, writing, and speaking. But all of the courses require intensive writing, um, and there are a lot of work, but a lot, a lot of them are super interesting um, with just a huge variety of different topics you can take. Uh, I'm actually thinking of applying to the Honors College. So thank you for yeah, the I, introduction. <laughs> definitely recommend uh, it. I learned that you attended Salam Academy from kindergarten. Thank you. I learned that you attended Salam Academy from kindergarten to middle school. Any good memories about Salam Academy? Oh, I have so many. How much time do you have exactly? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but really, I do have a ton of amazing memories from Salem Academy. Um, in general, the different clubs and activities, all the field trips, the, the sense of community, you know, um, like a, a place you feel like you actually belong. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, the friends you make along the way. I still even have friends from my Salem Academy days that I'm still really, really close to. Um, but yeah, in general, I don't know. I just definitely wouldn't trade my days there for anything. I really enjoyed it. I can agree with you 100%. <laughs> what extracurricular activities, for example, science fair, story writing, were you involved in when you attended Salam Academy? Did you continue with them? Um, let's see. I was definitely part of science fair, which I continued on during high school, and uh, it definitely helped me further in my engineering career with like papers and uh, different experiments and things like that. Um, and then, 
gosh, we did so many activities. We did uh, writing essays, poems in fourth grade. Uh, I took Russian because we had a Russian teacher, which I somehow still like remember some things from, which is cool. Um, and we participated in different plays and I'm sure like a ton of other things I just can't remember at the current moment. Well, that's that's actually really cool that you carried it on to middle uh, to high school. Mm -hmm. We hear that students going to an Islamic school are isolated from society. Did you find the school well integrated into greater society beyond school? Um, I don't really think we're isolated from the society. I felt like I had a pretty easy transition from middle school, you know, the small uh, religious school to high school with like a mix of um, a mix of, you know, different faiths. Uh, different people and to college um, all I have to say really is stay with your faith and I totally think that everyone would be fine going from Salam Academy and out into society. <laughs> we heard that you were involved in a school play also that was presented to the public did you and that you did great in it. Uh, tell us more about it. Um, so that was, I think, back in sixth grade. Wow, I don't really remember a lot about it, honestly. I do remember it was a really good experience. Um, a lot of middle school kids are generally pretty dramatic, so to be able to almost express ourselves in a way was pretty nice. Um, I think it also helped with stage fright to be, uh, able to talk in front of an audience is really important and it's a, a good skill to have um, definitely growing up. That's very exciting. Is it hard to be a practicing Muslim and a successful global citizen at the same time? I wouldn't say hard exactly. You know, there's definitely people out there that will make judgments and assumptions about you, especially when they see the hijab. But um, Honestly, it's not as bad as people would think. There's a lot of really good people out there who um, would really enjoy learning about Islam, the culture, the religion, um, and uh, encourage you. And so, and even having those people and having your family, your friends, um, both Muslims and non-Muslims encourage you. I think it's, it's a... Um, it's a really good opportunity. Everything kind of is really smooth, at least for me. Yeah. I mean, I know there's people out there that really struggle with it, but alhamdulillah, I think, I think we're, we're in pretty good shape at the moment. Alhamdulillah, that's smooth for you. And I agree. There are some like bad apples among mm -hmm. the group, but no, there are some people that are really, really fascinated by our religion and really do encourage you and stand by you. Uh, where do you hope to see to see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, inshallah, I'll uh, hopefully be finished with my master's. My parents definitely want me to go into a PhD, but we'll see, you know, one step at a time. <laughs> um, I definitely want to have a successful career and uh, in general, um, maybe have my own family at that point, inshallah, just be a a good citizen, a good member yeah, of the community, um, and just a good person in general, inshallah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. As I see right now, you are seriously an inspiration. And, Thank you. you know, inshallah, one day you get everything that you deserve. Uh, and lastly, any wishes or suggestions for Salam Academy students? Um, I would say enjoy your time at Salam Academy, like days um, I'll look back and remember, ah, the good old days back in Salem <laughs> Academy. And even when I um, meet up with my, my Muslim friends now, I'm like, oh, do you guys remember back in Salem Academy days when we used to do this, do, do that? Like, it's just, it's a really, it's a really good time. You won't, you won't get that time back. And uh, you really feel like you're part of a community, like a family. And so I just say, enjoy, have fun, be good Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with you 100%. As a person that's graduating from Saddam Academy, like, I couldn't agree more. Ms. Salah. Jazakallah khair. 
Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you in benefits and knowledge and honor. May you be blessed with the best in dunya and in Jannatul Firdaus al-Ala. Ameen. For those who want to learn more about this school, please visit our website at www.salamacademy.org.